Hi everybody, this is Shake, your favorite epileptic. And uh, today we're going to be talking about some murder and the like, so a little bit of a content warning ahead of time that we'll be talking <coughs> about uh, nastiness like cannibalism and necrophilia and nipple belts. nipple belts and skinning people and all that stuff. So if it's not your jam, uh, go ahead and just follow me anyways uh, and mute me and just leave me a view. Okay, guys, I love you. I'm going to leave you in the, uh, the delicate, <laughs> fine, um, genteel hands of my mm -hmm. wife, Kat, and my sister, Chevy. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, I'm going to start playing. Uh, just I'm about as graceful as a pickup truck. They're watching the comments, <laughs> so if uh, you guys have any issues with the audio... Or anything like that go ahead and comment and they will uh, scream at me okay guys I love you all right so I'm his wife cat apparently you have delicate hands I have very de <laughs> I describe them more as tiny peasant sausage hands because I can farm potatoes but sure sure they're delicate and then we got our little sister uh, Artie here <laughs> Chevy's her first name. It's fine. I'm as delicate as a pickup truck. She is as delicate as a pickup truck. What lies? My hands are made for potatoes. I come from a long line of peasants. You will never go hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so today we're going to talk about probably one of the most famous murderers who's not actually a serial killer. We're going to be talking about Ed Gain or Edward Theodore Gain. And so, by definition, you have to have three murders to be a serial killer. Three murders at three different times that are unrelated. Exactly. So, like, if you were to, like, if I were to murder you and then go next door and murder another person and go to the next house and murder another person there, I wouldn't be a serial no, killer. I'd be, be a spree, spree killer. killer. So, like, this is important. So, like, spree killers can murder as many people as they want. And well, spree killers I mean, are differ differentiated from mass killers because mass killers kill a bunch of people in one place at a single time. Stop what? talking about my potato fingers! All right. I will talk about whatever I'd like. And serial killers, as Artie was talking about, have different... Three, three different times at three different locations that are unrelated to each other. Okay. And this is really good information, guys, because Artie actually studied to be a crime tech. Crime scene tech. Crime scene tech. I so, was the one at the scene collecting and doing, like, the basic processing of evidence. So, you know, in NCIS, when, you know, the really hot goth girl comes on, that's what she was. That was but not what I was. That's what she was. That is not what I was. 100%. It is not what I was. <laughs> All right, fine. She was... I was a less hot person. At the scene, collecting evidence. <laughs> I don't know. She's going on about okay. my tater fingers. Who is she? My sister. My other sister. Oh, what'd she say? She said, lies, all fucking lies. I'm not eating your lies. Potato finger lies. I will not stop tater fingers. Tater speaks the truth. I will not stop tater fingers. Tater. <laughs> okay, I just have my phone open so I can see the stuff. All right, so I was the one at the scene collecting it, so I'd basically be like Callie or one of them off of CSI Miami. That makes sense. But okay. I would, but I only do basic processing, so I don't do any of like the stuff that requires like a whole bunch of chemical processes and shit like okay. that. And you didn't slowly take off your sunglasses. No, I am not Horatio Kane. That's all he's good at, you know. It, it really is the only thing that he's good at. <laughs> so. He's really good at pretending to, to be. To know what he's doing. Pretending to be philosophical. Oh, oh hello from the no, boys. No, Horatio King. Thank Who you is for it? joining us. Who it be? Kohaku. That is their Twitter. Or their Twitch handle. Hi. You, right. 
he sounds like a drunken madman in the background. Yes, he does. <laughs> and you know what we're going to talk about? A not drunk madman who made nipple belts. <laughs> nipple belts. Oh, nipple belts. Bel- hey, so in case you guys are wondering, Ed Gain... Um, do you want me to do my quick rundown that I did earlier? Taxidermied people? Do you want me to do that? You should do your rundown. Okay. So, Ed Gain, I don't have any of, like, the details, Jesus like... Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me! Congratulations, sir. Um, I don't have any of the, the like, the smaller information, like, oh, dates and whatnot in my raid. brain. Thank you for the raid! Thank you for the raid! Thank you for the raid! That sounded sarcastic. I didn't mean for it to. <laughs> we're, we're all very humble and thankful here. They don't know what it means. No, we don't. I have no fucking idea. You know idea. what we do know about? Murder. So, so, okay. So, I don't know the years and shit. But, um, basically, Ed Gain was born... Also, warning, there might be some flashing lights in this game for the epileptics out there. Are you done? <laughs> We I noticed as soon as I went to take before any flashing lights. As soon as, as we I went can. to take a breath and say something, before I said it to him, he was gonna interrupt okay, me again. So Ed Gain. Ed Gain was born into an abusive family. His father was an abusive alcoholic. His mother was a piece of fucking work. Yeah, um, she when, she owned when we say Bible thumper, we we're talking about this one. Like like she's Yeah. Uh, one of those, like, I'll beat you with the Bible to make you learn yeah, it. Yeah, she, um, so she was a... So she, she had... She was a Lutheran, which is actually what my mom is. Congratulations. So, hey, we can connect, Ed and I, if he was still alive. Um, but Mine she was went, Pentecostal. It was great. Oof, that's And worse. Southern Baptist asked me how both is possible. I don't fucking know. Congratulations. Probably the same way my grandmother was kicked out of the Catholic Church. Literally. I I have, okay, for the last, like, eight years, I've had this irrational fear that if I walk into the sanctuary of a church, I'm going to burst into flames. <laughs> yes. So, so, Quinn, Ed Gain was the inspiration for Leatherface. He's also the inspiration for Patrick Bateman, which is interesting because both of those are serial killers where Ed Gain wasn't. He was also... Um, Silence of the Lambs for Buffalo Bill. And uh, Norman Bates. And Norman Bates. Oh, I said Patrick Bateman. No, that, that, that's the thing. I don't fucking know. So, I haven't watched most of so that. So, American Psycho, <laughs> Chainsaw Massacre, Fuck. Uh, Psycho, just by uh, Albert Hitchcock, you know, the famous... <laughs> And I wish so bad that they could see you right now. <laughs> Just all cuddled up in a chair making murder references. It's it's fine. It's fine. Please stop calling me a potato wife. You went to a Pentecostal youth group once while not knowing what Pentecostals did. It was the most terrifying experience. <laughs> of my life. Dear God. I'm so no, sorry. No, no, so, no, what's worse? No, 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 no. somebody no, else. No, I know, yeah. no, because I'm relating to them because, like, I started out Southern Baptist, Oof. and then we moved, my parents separated, and my mother took me to Pentecostal, and I was 10, and I was like, <gasps> I was like, oh, we're going to church. Okay, that is not okay. That is not church. What the fuck is this? Yeah, so anyway. I, I went to, like, some <sighs> Lutheran camps, which were thinly disguised as Girl Scout camps, oh, which you're not, by the way, you're not, Girl Scouts aren't supposed to cover religion, um, but there Ed Gaines' mom, <laughs> Ed Gaines' okay, mom. Okay, so his mom, like, his mom owned, or the parents owned a store, used that to buy a farm that was, like, a way, way, you, I way, can't, way, it's way like Warshaw me. or something, I can't pronounce it, somebody way. in Wisconsin is gonna kick my ass. That's fine, they always say that. I've yet to see somebody come kick my ass when they say it. So, like, it's fine. Um, what are they going to do? Throw cheese at me? I- <laughs> Same. <laughs> okay, I'm like so, a goblin child. Like, <laughs> Really? Really, we both are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, this is not... We suck at this. Yeah, <laughs> <me too. laughs> Okay, so they moved...
moved to a farm that was incredibly isolated. Super isolated. The only time that the boys... So, Ed Gain had a brother. And the only time that Ed and his brother were allowed to leave the farm was for school. And it was, like, straight to school, straight home after. No extracurriculars, no before, no after, no nothing. Like, you get what you need during school hours and you're home. And then you come home and I'm gonna make you do farm work and punish you for for sins that I decided you committed. His mother basically wanted him to go to school to learn how to read so he could read the bible right it was it's akin to like the old deluder saint act which is why girls are allowed to read because gotta read the bible so you don't become a sinner (laughs) you guys can thank kalamazoo for that you know what's funny is like i specifically do not believe that a god of that kind of exists because i've read the bible in its entirety multiple times it's full of shit it's mainly me being told that I'm a potato wife. What ch- what what else did she miss? Um. So the way Baptist, things, but the things work with judging, streams. The, the, the way things work with streams is that yeah. you also interact with the chat. I have been interacting with the chat. So while you're doing a chat. podcast, you're also interacting. With I the am chat. interacting with the chat. I'm Hello, gonna... chat. I'm interacting with you. I'm just saying. You suck at this. Give me the computer. Okay. Don't have Just a trust me. We got two I'm epileptics on board. Okay, so Augusta basically would find the worst parts of the Bible, the parts that had to do with death and anything graphic, and read them. So basically the Old Testament. So anything death, murder, divine retribution, how women were less than men, how women were here to, like make you sin except for augusta because obviously she was not this she was oh yeah no she doesn't matter she doesn't care it's obviously like every other every other christian it feels like these days like you do as i say not as i do exactly so she would force uh, ed and henry to listen sorry 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 um she would she would force Ed Jeff, and Henry seizure, to listen to this. I know to not this. to play this game. Is what Skylar, Skylar Krim said. Yeah, oh, no. so if you have a seizure, please don't play this game. That'd be great. I literally just used other apps to block off the... Oh, that's so smart. Um. So... So, sh- basically, me. he had a very locked-down abusive childhood, which... It's not a good recipe for a functioning human. I mean, our sister literally just said most serial killers have this origin. Well, like, and it, not all. And, and Ed wasn't a serial killer that we can, pr- because he only claimed two murders. They only prosecuted two murders. They only know of two murders. It's not like there's reason to believe that there was a third. Yeah, they only knew She said about... that shitty childhood equals skin furniture. Okay, so basically... <laughs> it wasn't just furniture. It wasn't Do you just want furniture. the it list gets... of what they found? That is not true. No, I had okay, a hold on. Ho- I had a shitty, ho- shitty childhood, and I have never once made a skin chair. <laughs> Thank you. I haven't either, okay? Like, Maybe god well, damn. Skin chair, no. No, okay, so let me just do my rundown really quick, so... Yeah. Shh. Um, Nipple so... <laughs> It was a nipple belt. I hate you so much. Run down. So, okay, so run down. Um, Ed Gein became super infatuated, like, on a really creepy level with his mother. And even his brother was like, yo, that's not cool. Like, it's really weird. It's creepy. He would he would disparage her right. in front of gay. Right. And like. so, like, but, yeah. And, like, he would, you know, be like, you know, Ed, like, this isn't cool. Like, like it's hey, not... our mom's a bad person. You need to stop. Right. But his mom had, like, treated the other two horrifically, treated him, a, like, a little bit better, at least out loud verbally in front of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um. So he, he was unhealthily attached to her. He was, yes. And so... Like, he actually confronted him about it in front of their mother, and, like, not long later, he died in a quote-unquote mysterious fire, 
Um, but hold on. So Ed was the one who reported his brother missing. I believe he also reported the fire. And he then did. he led the deputies directly to where his brother's burnt body was. The body wasn't even burnt enough to hide the fact that it was covered in bruises and lacerations. And this is, and I bet you, I fucking bet you, that if you go back, that it wasn't a medical examiner who did that, who did mm-hmm. that to the brother's it, body. It was a coroner. I fucking bet you it was a coroner, not a medical examiner. What is the difference? Well, a, one's a barber one. in some in some locales of the United States, if you own a barber shop, that is all of the qualifications you need to be a coroner for your county. So basically somebody who has no idea how to... None. Just cool. like really random piece of information back in like before dental work was modernized yeah you would go to your barber for dental work i don't trust that at all i've seen what they do to my hair i don't trust them in my mouth right but barbers were also like back then especially in like that time era of they were multifunctional they were multifunctional they were like your super basic general surgeon in some cases like it's ridiculous most town city coroner have to have an md i wanted to be one I mean, in the rural places, in the rural places, you don't, like, have to have an MD. It's preferred, but, like, so let's say... And be elected, but see, the thing is, is this is literally something that changes. It's not, because they're saying that, um, they were saying that most towns and city corners have to have an MD... Uh, they wanted to be one and that they had to be elected in but the thing is because this is not something that is like nationally regulated every single township every single city every single county every single every single one of those smaller governments has their own their own rules and regulations so like in some places you might have to have your md to be a coroner but in many places you can just be a barber and you're the coroner because you're in the middle of fucking nowhere and like somebody has to do it so i know some are also sheriffs yes sheriffs are wait you're telling you're telling me right now that you could be a barber, sheriff, general surgeon. No, dentist, no, 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 no. Because the dentist, general right surgeon now. thing that was doesn't like. doesn't happen anymore. That's like. That was pre modern medicine. Ghosts in your blood. That was. I mean, that was. Have you ghosts have ghosts in, in your blood, do yes. cocaine about it. Okay. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> so basically, he probably is a serial killer because i would bet good money that he murdered his brother yes but by law he has not been investigated or convicted by this so we cannot say he murdered his brother but like he murdered his brother and can't call him a serial killer really either because like i don't want somebody to come after me at some point about some like slander or something. Yeah. yeah. Technicalities. But did you know that that's actually the reason that they can't say um uh like in the newspapers they can't say like XYZ raped ABC or whatever. Like they say that it was suspected and, and, and yeah, the way that they label it that pisses okay. people off it's to prevent them being Libel. sued for yeah. Yeah. So basically Sorry, really random. I suspect Ed of having there is a lot brother. of circumstantial evidence that would definitely point to it having been Which, Ed Gein if if they were to have ruled his brother's murder his brother's death. They didn't a even murder. Yeah, they, they it said it was natu- they, they No, said they it said was, it was accidental yeah. because of the fire. And like down I don't remember the exact details of it, but boiling it down, they basically said he died because of the fire, but fire doesn't cut you up and give you a shit ton of bruises. No, and it doesn't cause none head of, trauma. Exactly. Learn the Bible, young lad, become a murderer with a side of cannibalistic necrophilia. I mean He did he, well, we don't know if okay, he had sex with the So corpse, Okay, guys. so back to my back to real game. quick uh supposedly quick rundown so then the brother died the dad was dead the of a mom heart attack yeah the mom died 
And yeah. then when his mom died, he basically shut down, turned into yeah. a recluse, never left his house. He completely cordoned off the areas of the farmhouse that um, the mother, like, was in most yeah. often. Like, left it her as parlor, is. Her parlor, her room. Like, did not touch it. And it was, like, a shrine to her because she he was just that obsessed yeah, with her. He... And then, like, the rest of his house was just abject squalor and poverty because he didn't take care of it no. and like he made nipple belts and lampshades out of human skins and so anyway so his brother his brother died his mother died he turned into a recluse and what does a fine young gentleman of that time frame do if if they're stuck in a farmhouse away from everybody masturbate no they read they read. And what do they read about? Well, when you're as fucked up as Ed Gein is, you read about the wor- the like the worst of humanity. You read about everything you can find about the different atrocities committed during war. You read about the human experiments performed in the Nazi concentration. Germany. Yeah, you you read about all of that. You read about leather working. You read about uh, cannibalism. You read about... He got really obsessed with anatomy. He got really, really obsessed with um, like just a lot in general about how the human body works. And then he got one thing... Because like most of the books that he had about medical stuff were either very general yeah just in general about anatomy and medical or specifically about sex change operations um like he had an extensive amount of reading material on that and that combined with the fact that he made a quote-unquote pair of leggings out of human skin that was in the shape of like female genitalia they were saying that he was trying to like make a bodysuit or something yeah but some of the belief is that he was trying to literally become his mother right which which we is we not don't know yeah i would say number one there's no proof of that and number two at that point it's just an obsession with the mother and not about gender at all yeah, so I think a lot of that boils down to the time frame that all of these crimes yeah. were committed. Is right. They didn't have a very open view of anything that wasn't right, and so like straight so then they cis white men. so then they couldn't fathom the idea of like because I mean every time Ed and his brother tried to make friends growing up, they would the be beat fuck out beat out of them. Yeah, and like. So, like, the only contact he had was during school hours with the kids at school, but he was a fucking weirdo, so nobody wanted to interact with exactly. him. Exactly. So he would laugh at, like, jokes would, that no one told. He would right, have he would, conversations mm-hmm. with people that weren't there. Yeah. Like, he he was the kid that you avoided. Yeah. He was a kid you were just like, I don't know what's wrong with them, but I don't want to catch it in case it's contagious. Yeah. It is a very fun game. The flashy flashy comes with a specific item that I might have to use later. Okay, so if you didn't hear him, we'll we'll give you a warning for flashes before they happen, and then we'll audibly let you know when they're gone. Yeah. And so, uh, like, um, so after his mother died and he was, like, reading all of this, in reading all of this, that's literally, he got so obsessed with death that he started, like, going to local cemeteries. And then, like, mm-hmm. at a local cemetery or whatever, like, um... You make friends! You make friends! Loner friends, just like yourself, who happen to be grave robbers. Named Gus! Right? Which is a great name for It's a game. great name Gus for... The grave Gus the Grave Robber. Gus the Grave Robber. Oh, Jesus Christ. Gus the Grave Robber. Who? Quite the alliteration right there. Um... So, so okay, like, so he's taken two years from when his mother died to 
he's just his brain weird. full of knowledge right. and then he's full like knowledge and then he's let's like do this. let's rob some grapes because like he he and gus were hanging out and he was like i want to try all of these like experiments but like i need human bodies for that and gus is like hey guess what i'm a grave robber you want to like help me i'll help you and yep. helped him give the bodies taught like grave robbed with him and everything else like that and then like this is the part that fucks me up so like in reading all of that he learned how to do leather working so then he mm. cut off the parts of the bodies that he dug up that he deemed appropriate for then he this. he used those parts of the bodies to create trophies like the the hand me the list i'm gonna read you this list of what they found here's in the his first apartment. part of the list and here's the second part of the list okay so the items found in Gein's apartment, or in the fa- on the farm, farmhouse, was whole human bones and fragments, four noses, a wastebasket made of human skin, human skin covering several chair seats, skulls on his bedposts, female skulls, some with the top sawed off, sawn off, bowls made from human skulls, a corset made from a human, from a female human torso skin from shoulders to waist i've gotta say like that's impressive that's work. some really impressive work to skin that much of a body like without fucking it up like, really bad i mean like, we don't know what he might have had to spot stitch but right. to if you think about it the average woman is a size 16 right now i don't know what that is in the olden days but like that's that, a lot of... That's a lot of skin, guys. But the thing is, is they said it's a corset made from a human... From a female torso. So it wasn't just, like, the front. It's all the oh, way yeah. around. Oh, yeah, he went... He went side, he went back. And, like, to just... And a corset has boning, she, so... She said it was bigger than... The average size was bigger than 16. Or, sorry, average size right now is size 8, I think. Maybe 16 was back then. But basically... No, I don't know. I'm not They sure. ate whole sticks of butter. Um, I don't think that's accurate, but thank you for your contribution. <laughs> that's what she said. Whole sticks of butter. That's what she said. You know, as a kid once I tried to eat a whole stick of butter and did it did I not ever go tell well you about me. did I ever tell you my butter story with the Will you tell it to me later? Yeah. Because I feel like now. you don't want no, no, no. You, you all of the followers No, no, no it's, it's a cute story. Oh, I tell me your butter story. Because I used to call story. my, I used to not be able to say brother, and I used to call my brother's butter, and when Adorable. I was three, they had a babysitter, and I kept screaming for my butter, and she gave me every fucking butter that she could find in the house, and I kept throwing it on the floor, screaming. Because it wasn't your brother. Because it wasn't my brother. But she heard butter. That's she heard adorable. butter, yeah. Sorry. Um, okay, so okay. We leggings the made side. from human leg skin. I'm glad that they clarified what skin, what body part the skin came from that he used on the leggings. I mean, you know what? He had a nipple belt. We don't know what else he's You're doing. You're right. It could have been from titty skin. That's why I'm saying that I like they had to clarify. Yes, they had to clarify. Uh, masks made from the skin of female heads. Mary Hogan's face mask and a paper bag. I'm sorry. She's still it's really fucked up. They found, they found, so this is where the leather face the part comes in. The way that they in. say it. Mary Hogan's face mask in a paper bag. Have you guys ever done like, we're gonna do a treat me day and you go out and buy one of those sheet masks? <laughs> That's what he was doing with people. <laughs> Mary Hogan's skull in a box. <laughs> you gotta take the skin off and then keep the keep the skull. Bernice Warden's entire head in a burlap sack. That's not where I would keep oh. it. <laughs> Why a burlap sack? Well, maybe he was gonna boil her later. <sighs> Bernice Warden's heart. I like how this one's in a, in quotations. In a plastic bag in front of Gein's pot belly stove. So they found, so, okay. part of that list doesn't include, but they found her organs in, in various spots in front of his stove, which yeah, is why like they believe was, he was going to attempt cannibalism. Yeah, no, like he was 
either like literally in the process or it was being prepared like about to be prepared to be cooked yeah um but he hadn't actually consumed any so like and the only way to really test if somebody's consumed human flesh is to test their shit I'm glad to give you that piece of information. information. I'm so sure you wanted to know it. Um, No one would still wear it. I wonder if you social distance and dead corpse drag. I. You know what? (laughs) I will. I will order leather working stuff to make myself a face mask to keep people away from me. Then I can be socially distanced. I'm trying really hard to behave myself. Uh, so why would you make me behave myself live? I don't know. That is cruel and unusual punishment. I know, and it gives it gives me butterflies in my tum tum. So okay, they found okay. the pot belly stove. So the pot belly stove. Then, oh god, nine vulva. That's right, people. Just the vulvas. <laughs> Just the vulva. <laughs> not the whole vagina. Not I mean, not the inside. You... Well, you could. Scoop it out. (laughs) I don't know. These were corpses. It's not like they're going to say ouch. (laughs) They found nine vulvas in a box. In a box. Goodness. It wasn't, it wasn't like the labia. It was not like it wasn't. Yeah, no, it was. It was just the vulva. (laughs) A young girl's dress and the. The, this part's in quotes. The vulvas of two females judged to have been about 15 years old. And the dress of a young girl. God. A belt made from female human nipples. Which, guys, I want you to imagine this. You're the lab tech who gets given a belt made of nipples. And they go, we need to know more about these nipples. And you have to test No, here's them. the thing. Here's the thing that, like, is really curious about that, though, is because... Did they have to test each individual nipple? They would have had nipple? to test each individual nipple. Yeah. Because are two of these nipples going to have the same DNA? Exactly. So they had to test oh, however many nipples it took to encircle a, what, like, 45-year-old man? Yeah. Who was of slight build, but still, that's a decent <laughs> amount of nipples. Young vulva stew, just like how mom you used to. Was <laughs> our sister's vulva. Did you, do you know what she said? I saw what she said. I she have it said, on my phone, too. Oh, okay, Ma'am, that's you great. need therapy. All right. This, oh, hi, Beth. Hi, Beth. Uh. Okay, okay, so, so they had a to pair test of li- each individual They had nipple. to test in Okay, so they had to test each individual nipple. See, my brain goes to the fact that like because in order for him to have made all of these things and it not have just completely decayed, it had to have been leather worked, which yeah, he it had to be leather cured. working from reading. So there had to be some oopsies. So no, not just that though, but like Oh, we miss you too. In terms Gabbage! of in terms of like coming at this from a lab rat side of things, not only do I now have to test every single one of the nipples used to make this belt, but every single one of these nipples has been churned into leather. And you want me to DNA test this shit? You got me all kinds of fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you came in at the right time, Beth. You came in at the so. right time, Beth. We're talking about how Ed Gein had nine vulva in a shoebox. So many nipples. And you know it was an actual shoebox, not actual just like a shoe- fancy box. No, you know it because they said uh, in a for, box. Like, for some farm boots or something. Right. And so, um, oh no, like, Skylar Krim, I... Uh, I yeah. Tiff, Tiff, yeah. Tiff, I hopefully hate that my mobility was taken from me because I loved that job. I loved it. I did. And then, you know, somebody got hit by two trucks. But that's a different story for another time. Hey, listen, I'm built stronger than Ford. Ch- and Chevy Tough. found new roads and on you. I, Chevy found a couple new roads and maybe a speed bump or two. 
Um, so, yeah, Ed Gein had nine vulvas in a shoebox. He had a belt, belt made from human female nipples, a pair of lips on a window shade. Dr- so he pinned these lips that he cut off on uh-huh. the drawstring of uh-huh. the window shades. And the females, the fingernails. Do you think he put lipstick on it too? Probably. Um, fingernails from female fingers. So, all um, oh, and a lampshade made from the skin of a human face. Although I feel like they that he had more than that. He he, he did had, have like, chairs. Nine. Yeah, he no, had... I mean lamp- lampshades. Didn't he have like nine fucking lampshades? He had his... multiple. Yeah. Yeah. No, so it wasn't then... just one lampshade. It was multiple. You're right. Third time is the charm. Um, and so, uh, he also had the human facial skin. It looked like, so... Okay, I'll read it. So, a 16-year-old youth whose parents were friends of Gein, who attended ball games and movies with Gein, reported that he was aware of the shrunken heads, which Gein had described as relics from the Philippines sent by a cousin who had served in World War II. Upon investigation by the police, these oh, shrunken heads were, were determined to be heads. just human facial skin carefully peeled off the cadavers and used by masks as gain. Did it hit so, like a truck? Oh, funny story. So after the first accident, they told me that I just like uh, sprained my ankle, but I actually broke it and I didn't find out for six weeks. But like the day after the accident, I woke up because the dryer went off and where I was living at the time I had a my bedroom had a door directly to outside which was next to the door to the laundry room and I went to get my laundry and I was stepping up the single step back into my room and I was like it remember day after I got hit by a truck woke up out of a nap to get my laundry and I was like oh my god I feel like I got hit by a motherfucker because I did get hit by a truck and it felt like it it felt it's like an it, accurate. It, it's yeah, an accurate. it's an accurate. I can yeah. I can officially listen. If I ever tell you that it feels like I got hit by a truck, you know I'm not exaggerating because I know what it feels like. Yes, multiple types. Exactly. So it's not like I'm basing it off of a single experience. So <laughs> it's so hard to go from like I'm so sorry you got hit to a truck to nipple belts. Oh, I don't give but. a shit. Uh, so anyway, nipple belt. So then he had, um, something about that lips bothers me, dude. <laughs> it bothers me more than the nipple belt. Because it's like, like, a weird, circular, shriveled. Right. And it's not, it's not like he ma- he just had like, I've had my lip partially detached. Mm. So, like... You can imagine what it looks right. like. Right, and that doesn't... I don't know. I don't like that. No, okay, so what, re- what really fucking bothers me about all of this is basically everything except for the things that they directly tied back to his two murder victims, who were Bernice Warden and Mary Hogan, everything that was made out of, like, human body parts in his house was from grave robbing, right? And they couldn't but, like, lead it all back. Like, this is the thing that pisses me off. What fucking thought process did Ed Gein have where he went, I want to try to... I, I read these make, books on I'm leather gonna working. I'm going to make people chairs. I read these books on leather working. Let me... I want to I wanna experiment. But I can only do so if I have dead bodies. Human bodies at that. And then his friend is like, oh, hey, guess what? I'm a grave robber, so I can give you the hookup. Like, let's go. And then, like, he takes the body part Cabbage! that he turns into shit. Fuck off. Cabbage! He takes, he, like, he cuts off the body parts oh, that he on, uses. Oh, come on, Beth. You can, you can listen to nipple belts. He, he uses the, like, he cuts off the parts that he turns into leather working. And puts the rest. And then puts the rest of the body back. back in their graves. Which, by the way, the police did fine because they were like, this skinny-ass motherfucker isn't going to be able to dig up a grave. And they went and they tested two of the graves he said he robbed. And they're like, yeah, no, he robbed these. Because like, guess what they found? People missing people bits. Exactly. Like, oh, look, there's Mary Sue's nipple. At least we know who that one on the belt belonged to. Like, sorry, Mary Sue. 
We don't know for sure because he probably had some oopsies. So there's probably definitely had oopsies. Had some oopsies. <laughs> Oops. I sewed a nipple on this one. <laughs> no, Dang like it. because you have to leather think about working it. isn't no, it's an not easy even thing. That. It's not even that. He has to skin these people. And the question is, did he do in it in a solid there? piece? Otherwise, instead did of did he saying, take the bodies back to his farmhouse? Oh, and then, definitely took it back to the farmhouse. Because yeah. if it's the farmhouse, like if it's that kind he of farmhouse, solitude. there's places and to dress deer and shit and any and hogs he's got the or right whatever. Tools. You have all the right tools. So yeah, he took it back home because he's. If he grew up on the kind of farm that it sounds like he he grew up on, I love you, Beth. If he grew up on this on the kind of farm that I assume he grew up on, there was absolutely a dedicated location to dress such. Yeah, which is dead bodies, but usually that's for animals to clarify, I guess. Um, I hate that you have I, to clarify that. I know that. I missed some. I'm cleaning up the path so that um, I don't did keep Ed tracking Pioneer blood into the room. Kitchen. I just okay, no, so no, he did not. He okay. So the thing is with Ed Gein and the cannibal is cannibalism is he had consumed a lot of reading material about cannibalism, about cannibalistic practices in like native cultures and everything else like that. And um, after a while, because he grave robbed and did all of that shit for a good, good, long, long while before I hate you so much. She just said, can you imagine oh, color oh, coordinating uh, yeah, all got, those I nipples? Got my, I got my, uh, my dashboard open on my phone so I can God, see some of it. God, that is the worst. It's, um, I can't, I, I don't even color coordinate my own clothes. I would not color coordinate the nipples I you used to make a belt. You guys don't color coordinate your nipples? Really, I don't color coordinate no. my nipples. That's why I always I mean, supposedly that's how you pick out the perfect shade of lipstick, but that's a different topic. Tiff, don't like her. Don't like her. Don't, 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 don't encourage, encourage that. this. So, according to police and everything that I could find on Gain and all his records, he tried to rob 40 graves, but only went through 10. Which is what he's willing to admit to, and they couldn't prove any more than 10. Yeah. So when you think Stop. about it, that's I mean, at least I'm, 20 nipples. Don't, don't get of a sad face. She's fine. She just doesn't need encouragement. She's like this all the time. Yeah, she'll be, she'll, she'll be okay. Um... Um, also, I want to think that he didn't necessarily color coordinate the nipples. It was more of a, like, a color theme. Color theme nipples? Not you know. the finest white girls I can get. You hey, you know what's fun is having diabetes, Dad. Are you low? Yeah, my blood sugar's going low. Bitch. That won't do it. That'll take too long. Oh, my God. Okay. I mean, I want that, but that'll take too long. Hey, don't become diabetic. Like, Dirty. not that I had a choice because it's an autoimmune disease, but if anybody's ever like, do you value your pancreas? You answer yes. <laughs> I keep coming back to the lips. <laughs> it's the nipple belt is the most interesting thing, I feel like, but the lips are the ones that are skeeving me out. Mary Sue nips are a total autumn? What the fuck? <laughs> Mary Sue nips are a total autumn. I would say most nipples are probably in the autumn or rosy category. I think I'm more of a... Do you want me to tell you? <laughs> no. You're like a dust, no, dusty rose. Yes, Albert keeps scratching. <laughs> in case anybody's wondering, Shake's nipples are more of a dusty rose color. I, would, I, I wasn't wondering. I was wondering what was scratching me. <laughs> it was Albert. I... Didn't want to I am that. grateful I don't know colors like this. That because I <laughs> don't do... worry, we'll get some swatches up. We'll put them on Twitter. I feel violated. <laughs> so, fuck. There's not a lot reported on his first murder, which was the bar owner. Beyond the fact that like she looked like his mom, which have fun with that, guys. Oh yeah, no. So his uh, the people, the woman that he murdered. They uh, they were successful 
which would be everything that he would have been taught women are like, not supposed even women to be. would be successful right exactly. so like ow, women ow, were supposed ow. to bow down to the men right and so i find it really curious though that not only did he go after successful women but he went after successful women who looked like his mother because like what kind of thought process is behind i hate women i idolize my mother my mother is the only perfect woman but I'm so only how, going to how kill. dare you look like her? Maybe. Is, maybe. I mean, maybe it was that. It could though. be a how dare you look like her? She was so perfect to me, and you're out here being. That, actually. You're out here just shitting like, all over yeah, everything. Like, she how dare to you me. look like my mother? My mother would never be as blasphemous as you that, i mean that that is my thought process on it but no that's fair i just i, I don't have a it. murderer brain so i don't know I mean, that's not I true don't. you tell me you're gonna kill me all the time I, that me, is a that's different, different you matter how you are so going to what different. happens in the family stays in the family ask ed gein's brother yeah. <laughs> his name was henry in case anybody's curious he just stopped <laughs> He was going to say something and he just stopped. Just no. He's done with us. Uh, actually, he didn't use a knife. He he killed with a twenty two caliber. But he used a oh, knife to skin people. I mean, I just... So, which one was it? Mary Hogan? Was she the one who had the store that... Yeah, so Mary Hogan was the tavern owner. And it was Bernice. Bernice Holden. Hagen, Hagen, Hogan? I can't read. Ah. Hogan. Hogan? Oh, wait, no, 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 no Mary Bernice Hogan. Bernice Warden. Yeah, um, she was the she was So the she's the one who shop owner. She was the one who owned a, who like owned a shop or worked at a shop or whatever. She owned it. And um he walked in, took a gun out of the case, like the display case, put his own bullet in that he brought Pre- with him and shot her. And then took her home and hung her upside down like a deer and dressed her like one. Uh, yep. And so what's really curious, though, is, like, I keep trying to make this point, and I never get to it. Get to uh, it. Fuck you. And so, like, he was reading about cannibalism, and just like everything else that he's read about, and he, you know, went out and picked that up as a hobby. He's like, oh, I like leather working. Let me. I don't know how he chose his nipple victims. Well, it probably... By looking at their lips! I hate you. Okay, so if I was Ed Game, this is how I would do it. First, I'd look at the gravestone and be like, is that a lady or a man in there? Because I'm only skinning women. And then, actually, police do know he only dug up women that were in his mother's age range. Yes. Minus the, the 15-year-old. Right, but... So he mainly went after women who Did you drink your whole resembled you drink his your whole mother. Pop? It is in the process of happening, people. Can you shush it, drink it while I get to my point? Um, so, like, he, you know, he's reading all these books after he goes into Oh, reclusion. you know which limbs. After he goes into reclusion after his mother dies. And he's like, oh, leatherworking sounds fun. Let me go dig up some bodies and do that. And so then he's reading and he's reading. Because all while he's doing all this, he's still reading. Yeah. He's still reading. And he's sti- he's like, you know, at this point, there's more information coming out about the experiment, like the experiments that they did on the humans in the concentration camps in Nazi Germany. Like, he, there there was more and more of that information coming out. There was more and more information. Drink your soda. I did. Um, And so, like, it was, like, just like he, quote-unquote, went out and picked up leather working as a hobby, he decided, today I want to try cannibalism. But, like, like it's another hobby. I have hobby. a theory about cannibalism. But, okay, I'll listen it's to about, it in a second. So, like, but he, he, it. Hey, if you need another one. He, like, you know, he grave robbed, which satisfied his leather working once, but then he wants to eat people, but he knows that you can't grave rob and eat. Like, they're, no, because they're they, full of poison. They're, exactly, there's formaldehyde. So you've got to go kill somebody, right? So that's what he did. 
Yeah. End, so, end of story. Like, that's the long and short to it. He, of, he, never, he officially never officially admitted ate. to committing cannibalism, but he, he done ate somebody. Yeah, he never officially admitted to the eating uh, either woman or any human. And it I was highly obvious, doubt like, that they tested his feces. Well, because the thing is, is to test for that is like you have to collect all of their feces for like two weeks to collect. Yeah, no, because you no never way they know when it's gonna. There's come no out. way they did that. Exactly. And like with the tavern owner who was Mary Hogan, I, I'm probably murdering her last name just like she was. Um, I mean, it's spelled like Hulk Hogan, so... Right? Uh, He just admitted to killing her, and they found bits of her in the house, but, like, they don't know. He could have very well have ingested some of her. They found, like, basically the same bits of her that he used, like, to create trophies like he did. With the grave robbing, grave. I think it's important, I don't know if we said this yet, but he only grave robbed fresh graves. He wasn't digging up people who had been dead for, like, months. Right. So. Oh, and somebody, I I was going to say, um, there's, um. You nasty. Oh, Shake has a story about why he can't eat bologna sandwiches anymore from Aldehyde. ham sandwiches. Ham sandwiches. I'm not going to tell So, I'm going to tell the story. No, that's fine, not right now. You said not right now, didn't you? I'm not going to tell the story. Somebody else can tell the story. Oh, okay. So when he was a kid, you know, when they make you dissect the frog, he had to dissect the frog, and he got the smell of formaldehyde stuff in his nose, and he went home, and he's like, I'm going to have a ham sandwich, and now he relates the two smells. And smell and taste are... <coughs> Very <coughs> linked together. So when he eats a ham sandwich, he tastes very good. <coughs> and not like, ooh, la, la, frog, and but fine. like... Oh, we're making you... Which is a weird practice yeah. when you think about it. So, uh, <coughs> and I made this point to you earlier because you asked, um, like, because on the list that I read of things that they found in his apartment, we got that list off of Murderpedia, by the way, y'all. Um, he, they listed that they found fingernails from female fingers, and you were like, well, how did they know if it's just fingernails? But the way that it sounds is like it wasn't clippings, like but nails ripped. ripped out of the nail bed, which the nail bed would still have DNA. Just like your hair, if I were to test cut hair for DNA, I'm not going to get anything. No. The only but time I, the only time I'm going to get DNA off of hair, oh is no, if she it just sounds the like that. Straight with you, what? Tiff oh, Tiff said you're not allowed to die because you. I do what I want. You hack like you have the black lung, but that's just how you sound. It feels like it but i don't i guess fine <laughs> uh and you know the worst part about all of this is they never like dug up all the graves to they like didn't. return the nope. bi- no they nope. they disposed of the trophies in a proper manner which what the fuck does that mean they could you think um, they burned them you think like they gave them to goodwill <laughs> somebody either ate those nipples or they took a nipple bell home okay honestly like this was small town. I wouldn't put it beyond like somebody taking home a nipple. Somebody, somebody was like somebody took home a nipple. Somebody, somebody took. Somebody I'm like, just saying. Huh. I'm just saying that, oh, that in like, like another no, generation, no. somebody's gonna be remodeling a house, go up in the attic, and be like, oh, this is an interesting box. Oh my god, it's made of nipples. Like, what's in this shoebox? What's in this shoebox? Holy shit, that's a lot of vulvas. Vulvas. What? Would they even look like Fulvus anymore, though? Like Have you like ever seen the picture? Thing. Oh, God. To anybody on the really, stream really who's awful? really confused, just go Google image search it. Do You're not, welcome. Do not do that. <laughs> if you don't know what a vulva is, you need to read an anatomy textbook. Have you ever se- Okay, this is going to sound really bad, and I don't Have know. Ed Gain is not a human vulva. squirrel. He's and like... Have you ever seen... <laughs> Again, what? I mean. The meme of fried horse pussy? <laughs> what? what? No, I have not seen that meme. Oh, okay, fine. I don't know if I want to see that meme. You don't. What? It's not a fun meme. It was one that I was subjected to that I know many people it's have been... It's stuck in my head now. <laughs> it's stuck in my head. I want to talk about murder again. I don't want to talk about this. I don't feel good, guys. <laughs> I don't feel good now. 
He was just making an anatomy project. He was <coughs> trying to become his mother, we think. <coughs> um, you know, if you ever watch Psycho by, spoiler alerts, uh, by Alfred Hitchcock, it ends with the main character imitating his mother in the wheelchair. So, like, that that really pulled hard from Gain's life. Gainsley, you, however you say it. <coughs> <coughs> She's okay. That's just how she sounds, don't worry. <coughs> so it was the county, to go back to his brother, it was the county coroner who, I fucking told who you. listed asphyxiation from fire as the cause of death, even though he was not close enough, according to the deputies, close enough to the fire for that to have even been possible. I know. I know you told me. So they can't see your face. I wish you guys could see this. She looks it's, pissed. I don't know why. It's just a, I fucking told you so face. It's not just that. No, because I was trained and all. Like, I wanted my in Kohaka says you're not allowed to die on the stream, but they didn't say anything about after the stream. I'll go outside if I want to. You will not die on this property. You have to walk to the edge of the property. Go die in the neighbor's lawn. Okay, I don't Fine. think I don't think I can deal with your ghost and your brother's ghost because as soon as you too die, many ghosts. You know he's here. He's just here to stay now, and he's probably gonna be cranky. Oh, my brother keeps harassing me. I'm good. He's an asshole. So okay. Anyways, I think we've covered that Gain was not mentally in a good place. I'm not a manic for a state. long time. I can't see what emoji that is. It's, it's a laughing, a laughing, laugh crying face. face. This is pathetic. It's what? And I can't see. Do you do you want me to get it closer to you? No, I'm Are just okay, angry Grandma? that my eyes suck. Well, Sorry. we're gonna get you the correct glasses. There, it's fine. Probably. A moose once bit your sister. I, I was carving my initials in the side with an interstellar. On the nipple. <laughs> and <laughs> we've come <laughs> back to nipples. <laughs> Maybe we should call you nipple and stirred. Me? No, why? No, okay, so I was working on this farm as a teenager. Mm -hmm. And um, they had some horses, and I was... Uh, I had I had another horse with me. I had Dallas with me, and I was riding him along the fence line, and I was making some like fixes to the fence. And there was this one section that we kept Rusty in, and Rusty was just this ornery bastard of a horse, and like just this ornery, angry motherfucker. And like he was like nuzzling me, and I was like, "Oh, you actually want scratches? Like, no, he nice. wants to. He wants to edge you." And he like nuzzled me, and I was like petting his nose, and then he just like grabbed but i saw him so i like hey, tried to pull back which meant that by the time he closed his teeth he had basically just on the nipple do and i still screamed, have both nipples i do still have the nipple okay like in a box no it's okay it, it, it's still attached those never detach the nipple never got detached when i cut my fingertips off those did die and fall off but that's a different story you're so good at peopling. Thank you. I have a kitty cat. I see that. So. So cat is addicted to murder porn. There is nothing wrong with murder porn. Uh, a yellow jacket got me right on the nip once. That was an awkward hospital visit. Oh, oh my god. That sounds horrific. The, I got stung on the ass by a mud No, dauber. okay. I once sat on a hornet. Oh no. I didn't sit on so, the fucker. So, Kohaku, I feel you, but at the but same time, I don't. But it was a mud dauber. A mud dauber. Yeah, no, well, those guys are mean. Thing to us in the north. No, they Fuck exist up assholes. here, too. No, I don't know what you're talking about, so it's not real. I yeah. know what you're talking about, and their stings are very they, aggressive. On the ass. Eyes. And as we have covered, I have no ass. Just way too much ass crack for way too little ass. <laughs> <laughs> so much ass crack for no ass. Too much. So much. You know what? 
You know what I didn't think we were going to be talking about today? My ass crack. Your ass crack. I was like, we're going to talk about murder. <laughs> and now we're over here like, too much, too much ass crack for no ass. Back okay, hold on. Wait. Wait. What part of doing a murder podcast with me? The specifically with me part. It's of a light hearted <laughs> murder podcast. If that is the thing. <laughs> We, we bring the comedy and the death. Which, I mean, when you think about it, Ed Gain is kind of comedic. <laughs> it's it's I'm just... almost comical in how fucked up he was. Like, it's, it's, it's bordering on that, like, it's so bad I need to laugh or I'm going to cry. Right. Rise up, my leafy brethren. Who's your leafy brethren? Is it What me? the fuck is I going am so on? Confused. I don't know. Quinn is quinning. Cabbage. Cabbage. Um, but you know what? I the bet- demigods of Tater Wife. What? What uh, the fuck are you smoking, Quinn? I love you, Tater Wife. Why am I Tater? Okay, you know what? I said I came from a long line of peasants. Tater wife. And that's true. I love you, Tater wife. Because I'm so Irish that it's not even funny. Yeah, my favorite is Tater wife. But I'm taking exception to being called like Tater him. wife. Can I help you, sir? No. He just wants to be all up in your business. The deaf cat is trying to get all up in this podcast business. <laughs> I'm me. <laughs> I know that, but like... What happened? Oh, nothing. Anyway, so, Ed Gein, so, okay, so, which one was it? Bernice was the shop owner. Yes, so she was then, the shop owner, which so, her son was a uh, deputy. Deputy, and wasn't he, like, the deputy who <laughs> went and found fucking Henry? Yeah. Yeah, it was like, oh yeah, no, this is totally an accidental fire death. Look, I'm I'm not saying that they should have just locked up Gain right then and there and maybe, maybe, maybe if her they had niece wouldn't have been brutally shot. Actual Police work? Scene. Yeah, that. Maybe if the police policed? If the police policed, they would have realized that, like, this, this idiot was killed. And they could have just, it would have been the end of the story. There would not be a story. But, yeah, yeah, no, so, um, he went in because apparently it was a slow day because it was, like, deer hunting season. Right. And, and woman hunting season. And he was like, wow, there's blood on the floor. Like oh, wow, Elmer there's a receipt Fudd. with... Yes, it's the worst Elmer Fudd. Oh, wow, there's it's a really receipt it. with this motherfucker's name on it. Maybe I should go find my mom. Oh, God, she's hanging from the ceiling. Her ankles are in crossbars. <laughs> she's been dressed like a deer. Where the fuck is her head? Where's her organs? Is her vulva missing? Is that vulva in the box or any of those vulvas hers? I About- feel like that should have been her son's life concern. I am personally not worried about my mother's pants spits. <laughs> but you know what? Maybe he was worried about what was in the box. And it oh, was not box. just it was not just in the shoebox. Yeah, you can't put a head Can in a shoebox. Can you shoe imagine box. though just being like Oh, I think the list like... ignored this, but he made cereal bowls out of skulls. Too. I know. Do you know how bad he it was ate to from cereal that. bowl skulls? Some I don't skull want a cereal real bowl? skull. But, like, I, I would love... I would to sanitize it, but sure, I'm okay with fake. It's too porous exactly. to be properly like I said, cleaned. So, like, I mean, unless you actually do some stuff to it, like... Like, it's so porous if you, you lick it, your tongue sticks it to it. You can't just it plain. Like, you have to actually do some stuff to it to make it a bowl. Like, then yeah. I'd be okay with it, but not just a plain not, skull. Not game like, style? Not game style. Like, if you took a... If you took the skull and used it to create a bowl, like, with yeah, the no, proper that's materials that's that different. are sanitary... Um. Yeah, you're gone. And so, I am okay, not a milk first monster before you go there, sir. Cereal then Here's milk. The thing. Here's the thing, everybody. If we ever how figure out how to cereal? make cereal, we'll send you How do you get your cereal? Do you do milk first or cereal you first? Do cereal you do cereal first. first. 
Fjord. 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 I do cereal Fjord. Shake is the original cabbage. I am sorry, Tiff. What did you just what? say? Excuse me, my good bitch, but what seems to be the McFuck going on? Look a at cow. this. Oh, smidge. Dear. Oh, smidge. Hey, Tiff. I'm concerned about you. I, now I know why you're epileptic. <laughs> On the internet, where it's got the milk part and then the cereal part, and they're divided, and you can slowly spoon in the cereal so it doesn't get soggy. That sounds like what you need. But if you put milk in cereal, I'm sorry, they're the, no, bad. Uh, hey, okay. So first off, it's all right. Now we know where the cereal killers are. They're in my chat. <laughs> Doing milk first. You monster. What? What is cabbagekin.com? Wait, what? That is that a real thing? Nobody clicked that link. I'm worried. I clicked it. <laughs> Shake it's clicked it. It's not real, but it's gonna be real. It's a dating site for cabbages. <laughs> Everyone comes. Find the Savoy to your Napa. Our kin is family. And Ken is a It'd be ancestral. So they're Alabama cabbages. Can you guys just go back to murder? And oh, yeah. <sighs> okay, so, anyways, this might surprise you guys, but Gain, when he was put on trial, said not guilty by reason of insanity. <laughs> Shocking, right? The man who made nipple belts and kept nine vulvas in a box. <laughs> Shoebox! Exactly nine. In a shoebox. <coughs> what uh, was it in the burlap sack? <coughs> oh, it was Bernice's head in the burlap sack. <coughs> there were no vulvas in sacks. <coughs> so, basically, so in 1957, he's arraigned, and he goes, hey, I'm not guilty because and insanity. And four noses. Which is a weird thing to keep noses. And why would you leather work a waste basket out of human skin? Like, of all things, like, can you imagine finding out, like, getting a call? A leather weight basket hold is on. a horrible idea anyway. Hold on, hold Because, on. like, what about, you know, you're going to damage it with anything that's but liquid. listen, listen. Can you imagine getting a call and you're like, I, I don't know what, who, I wonder what number this is. And you're like, hi. Is this Chevy? Yeah. Do you, uh, you remember, like, when you buried your mom last year, and, like, or you buried your mom last week, and then, like, it, I mean, like, can you imagine getting a call and being, like, hey, we found the nose. But they didn't even go, they only dug, so he admitted to ten grave robberies. They only dug up two of those. But the thing so is, they is, don't know where... But the thing is, is how many nipples are on that belt? Because if there's only two nipples, I don't did think... he take the, the entire areola? I don't like, think are so. we... Did, like, how... No, like, uh, like, oh, so what I was going to say, and so can you imagine getting a call, though? I don't think the Washara Police Department could can add you nipples. Imagine, can you imagine... Finding out that your mother no, was No, a waste, dug like up. W-A-S-T-E. A, can you imagine? Like a recycling bin. Can you imagine getting a call that your your mother's grave was dug up? She and was she's skinned, now missing a nipple and a nose. now, she's missing a nipple, your, her nose, and some skin that they found turned into a garbage can. And a smidge of her vagina. <laughs> the vagina is the, the inside. Vulva. Just a little bit. No. The uh, vulva. The vulva. They took what? the vulva. What? Not the labia. The vulva. But. But, like. <laughs> I don't. Oh, my God. I really <laughs> hope that the people that, like. <laughs> Quinn just called vulvas dandy raisins. 
sorry mister from your son has died and bequeath to you this box of my dandy raisins dandy raisins is, li is written on the box well first of all this is what i'm going to call bulldoze from now on everybody has a dandy raisin Oh my god, that's awful. That is the worst. <laughs> also, his dad died of a heart attack, maybe, and his mother died from a series of strokes. Maybe. No, 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 that was, okay. because when she died, he said he lost his one and only true friend, which, I'm sorry, if you're, you... okay, so she I'm died in 45, and he was born in 1906. Do you want to know, hold up. Did so I he was 39 you? when his mother died. I put on I put on both the socks and then I put on both the shoes. Hey, do you put I do shoe socks. Do you put no, no, socks sorry, I do... on first or pants first? I do Pant pants uh, wait, and then pants. socks. Okay. Unless I'm Thank wearing you. unless I'm wearing leggings and then I put socks on first so I can just slide all up into these right? leggings. Okay. Uh, but I do sock shoe sock shoe. So do, what you is know, do you want to know what I watched what is a my six-year-old niece do? Do you no. want to know what I watched my six-year-old niece do a, a few weeks ago? No. I watched her put on a pants leg, a sock, a shoe. The, <laughs> the other. <laughs> the other. Well, she's going to grow up to have nine dandy raisins in a box. Oh my god. I was, I was, I was dead ass li just sitting there on the floor staring at her like this. I was like... Um, Gain's reaction to WAP would probably be to try and leather work it so it wasn't wet anymore. He would be angry that it was wet because wet flesh is hard to leather work. <laughs> exactly. No, so dry. There you go. Dry it. <laughs> What's wrong also, with that? Arba? He was taught that women Wait were horrific minute. beings, Wait so he minute. would be very against Wait it. Wait a minute. So if people who are against WAPs are against WAPs, does that mean that they're against wet? Pussies because they want to leather work people's vulvas and can't. Well, Some okay. of them, yeah. Like a specific person I will not say the name of out loud who had specifically a very detailed rant. And has had many memes targeted yeah. at them. I would like to believe that this person wants to leather work vulvas. <laughs> you know what? They never clarified which set of lips was on that curtain. <laughs> Are we talking face lips or not face lips? for his doctor wife. <laughs> oh, poor doctor wife. I do too. Especially the the sandy desert memes are the ones that got me the worst. <laughs> Sorry, I that just popped okay. into my brain, and um. Oh, this Anyways, <laughs> let's watch cat rap. Don't do that. It's horrible. You don't want to see don't. that. I haven't seen it, and I don't want to see it. <laughs> oh, I don't want to see it either, and it's only happened when I'm drunk. Continue with your murder. Oh, okay. So, anyways, he said that he was not guilty by reason of insanity, and this is going to shock everybody, but. He was found insane. <laughs> Actually, no. First, he was found that he was not legally sane enough to stand trial. So yeah, so he was mentally bit. he was mentally incompetent to stand trial. Right. So then they had to put him in a hospital until and like rehabilitate him, quote unquote, until he was sane enough to stand trial. And then they were like, "Yeah, no, you were crazy when you committed that crime." So, back to the back to yeah. The, the timeline is 1957. I can't do this. I'm insane. Oh, wow, we can't even put him on trial. 1968, oh, he's still insane. We're going to commit him to a mental hospital for the criminally insane. Which is where, this is going to be shocking, he is now dead because he died there. Quinn said Albert is cat game. No. <laughs> no, if anybody is going to turn into a serial killer as our animals it's poop and I would like to believe he would create a face mask from my excuse skin excuse me squish ma'am watch your wheelchair I do what I want <laughs> obviously 
Obviously, that doesn't work out very often, but that's not the topic of discussion. But he was he was found guilty, but he didn't serve time in a prison. A yeah, no, he was okay. So, um, he was found guilty, or not guilty by reason of insane. Uh, guilty but insane, isn't that what they? Yes, yeah, guilty him? but insane. Guilty but insane. So, because like was... people know about like the not guilty because of reason, you know, because. Not reason of insanity. Basically, fuck. you were not right. sane during the crime, but so we cannot don't, find you. So what a lot of people don't understand is, like, the different um, verdicts that you can get at trial. At well, a criminal you're not talking about dandy raisins? Um, like, there's... People, people think it's just like, oh, guilty, not guilty, and maybe sometimes people will, th- will know about no contest. But then, you know, and then, of course, people say, well, no, self-defense or, um, you know, reason of, you know, not guilty because by reason of insanity. Yeah. But nobody ever talks about the guilty but insane, the not guilty but insane. <laughs> but yeah. you're still pretty fucked up. Um, like, they okay, don't, you didn't do it, but damn. But, and oh. then they don't talk about the, like... You know, place. if you get let off of something because of self-defense, in some jurisdictions, it's not just a innocent, it's innocent because of self-defense. Like, there's a bunch of different... Next week, I'll pull up, I'll get together, like, a list of all that and, like, yeah. read off the different, the different verdicts that you can get in criminal tri- trials. Because they also, I, I believe that they also vary from, like, state to federal... Yeah. And also, I do know for a fact that um, adult and juvenile terms are completely different. Yeah, and they vary state to state. Mm Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's, um, basically, he was found guilty, but because of guilty but insane, he was then sent to continue his sentence, which was a life sentence, I believe. I mean, he died there. At Madison. It was in Madison, Wisconsin. At the, uh... I think it started with a C? Or an M? can't remember. Started with an M. Sorry, I'm not Ogoning at you, I'm Ogoning at Oh, Blaine. sorry. It was Mendota State Hospital in Madison, Wisconsin. He was transferred from the Central State Hospital for the criminally insane. Oh, so I was kind of right now, on both. Now, Dodge Correctional. You never got hit by a Dodge, did you? Nope. We'll have Just to add that Chevy to the Ford. list. Um, and then he was then transferred to Mendota State Hospital. Wait, doesn't Beth have a Dodge? She does have a Dodge. Hmm, okay. No. You aren't making decisions right now, sir. I am, too. <laughs> But yeah, he was found guilty and then also found legally insane. Yeah. So. First of all, vulvas do not have a tasty center. And I really Uh, don't want to have this conversation. Uh! (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) I'm responding to the comments like I was asked to. But. Yeah, yeah. Why can't you just do what everybody else should do and ignore those comments when I'm eating? Well, because... I'm trying to eat. No, she could not dodge a Chevy. Can't dodge a Chevy, can't dodge a Ford. But she did dodge a Dodge. I did not dodge. It's in Beth's garage. You never never got hit by it. I was... Brain was... It's fine, I'm glitchy. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Murder porn. Murder porn. Is that it? I mean, unless anybody wants to ask questions about I mean, there's really game. nothing else to say because he was in a mental institution for the rest of his life. He died of so a pulmonary it's not embolism. Like... He didn't, it's not like the Hillside Can Strangler jump, where Kenneth Bianchi was, got a girlfriend somehow, well, no. then gave her his sperm and then was like here go put it outside so they think that I didn't do it because my sperm was found at the crime scene and now it's outside so they'll think it's not mine anymore ouch my ego 
Quinn said that I could get hit by a parked truck. You probably could. Fuck you. Um, I'm so sorry you have a headache. <laughs> I'm going to take no blame for it, though. It's all your fault. No, uh, because what you. I was going to say is, like, so the thing is, what you what you might notice, and you probably will notice, because we're going to do this, um, if somebody, like, gets, you know, guilty and then spends, like, the rest of their life in a mental institution instead of prison, at least in the U.S., they're protected by HIPAA. Exactly. So, we so don't, whereas, like, we people don't get can to know get if there information was... from like, other prisoners and shit about, like, certain inmates in prison, they can't do that with... Tiff, are you gonna have a seizure or something? Are you okay? Do you have anybody uh, there with you? Uh, You guys can continue to talk. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm worried about y'all praying. I was chugging this. But anyways, because of HIPAA, basically, since he was in a mental institute. So now, Uh, do I need to get on a call with you or anything? Ouch. Fast enough. Okay. Okay, well, if you need if you need me to get on a call with you while you're having your seat, or like like during this time, you just let me know, okay? Does she have your like? She can just message you directly, right? Yeah, just yeah, no, just message me on Discord or whatever. If I don't, just get a hold of him if you need. Wrong. Okay, we'll keep an eye on it. Okay. What do we do if something's wrong? What? Yeah. What yeah. would you like us to do? Would you like me to regale you with tales of Dennis Nilsson? He got caught because he called a plumber. Uh, cabbage! Like, if something's wrong, is there, should we, is there somebody that we can... Well, so... Can we wake up the people that are with her right now? Hey, um... Like, is there a phone number we could call? Uh, Hey, Tiff, is there, like, a phone number we could call for the people that are in the house with you? So if we notice you stop typing, we can call them. Is it, is it your, is it like your dad and stuff is there too, right? Or is it just, uh, you and like your mom or some bullshit? I guess we're taking a brief intermission. Um, if you guys need to use a bathroom or anything, go ahead. Um, you don't know how to explain that. Okay. Hey, uh, fuck. I don't know what to do. Uh, so you have some. You only have somebody who who lives an hour away, huh? On a scale of 1 to 10, how bad do you think it might be if you have one? Your seizure. 
Because you said you, you said you might have a seizure. That's what I was asking. Seven. Oh Jesus. Okay. Um, is there any way you can go wake them up right now? Because it would be better if there was somebody awake while, uh, murder. You want murder. Okay. Okay, so we want to talk about, so... You want murder. So, basically, we believe Gain is a serial killer, but we can't prove it. Because, by definition, serial killers need to kill three or more people at separate times in separate places. Unlike spree killers, which is what you would consider, like, a school shooter who kill mass amount of people in a small area. And so, I think he personally is a serial killer because the circumstances of his brother's death are really kind of not realistic. So, okay, his dad dies of a heart attack in 1940. His brother in 1944 is reported missing when they go out to fight a brush fire all of a sudden that mysteriously started and Gain doesn't know how. And then he reports his brother as missing. And even though he reported his brother as missing, as soon as the cops show up, he walks them right to his brother's body, which is then ruled an accidental death by the county coroner. And the cops are like, Meh, that seems fine. And so he then goes on to, like, become a hermit with his mother, who had a series of strokes and became increasingly dependent on him. And I will be right back. Yes? So, m murder, scary. Is everything okay? I don't know. I'm gonna go check on her. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, murder scary. Uh, I I afraid murder. I afraid they're gonna kill me now. You need me to review something. Okay. You like Ted Bundy? Okay. Now, who likes Ted Bundy? Tip does. First of all, Ted Bundy wasn't even that hot, but he was invited by a Washington state senator to come speak. And he... He was very smart in the way that he presented himself to people. Does his cast smell like chloroform to you? He actually tricked women by dressing up. Like, he would wear fake casts and trick women. Uh, evidently, uh, she was saying, um, he'd wear fake casts and trick women? Yeah, he'd uh. pretend like, oh, hey, I need help getting this into my car. Sorry, she's, uh, she's helping Artie with something right now, so you're, you're stuck with me. Uh, I know pretty much nothing about murder. But it's scary. Okay. So what do you guys know about murder? How are you guys doing tonight other than, you know, the obvious? I'm nothing but a lowly streamer. I know little about this Murder. So, do we actually want to talk about Ted Bundy? Because he's a fascinating case. First of all, he's not even that great looking by modern standards. He is no Zac Efron. So, Bundy... Um, Bundy was in the 1970s, whereas Gain was in the 50s. And Bundy was an actual serial killer. And the interesting thing is, my mother actually has a connection to this case because she grew up in Tacoma, Washington, which is not too far outside of his area because he was largely based in Washington and California. And she would wear her hair long brown straight and parted down the middle, which is what he looked for in his victims. victims. 
Yeah, Bundy had a unibrow, and it wasn't great. Bundy has a butter face. But, um, he not only was... So, unlike Ed Gain, who was a murderer and a necrophile, Ed Gain never sexually assaulted any of his victims. Whereas Bundy did rape. So, I mean... Content warning, trigger warning for people that have issues with this. You should probably stop listening now or turn off your audio. But he did, he did rape people, unfortunately. So, uh, he, he was born in Burlington, Vermont, which is kind of interesting because Burlington, Washington, and his stompy grounds were kind of all over the place, but Washington was definitely one of them, which really brings it back to how many serial killers do we have in Washington? Because we got Bundy, we got the Green River Killer, we got the Hillside Strangler, we have a lot. So my recommendation is if you don't live in Washington, don't come here. So that's not true, actually. There was a study done uh, back during the Whitechapel murders by Jack the Ripper where they tried to overlay many photographs of people who had committed crimes. And it, it wasn't just murder, but basically those that they deemed less in society. And they didn't find any any common ground for these people. So, I mean, you can be beautiful and commit murder, but please don't kill people. BC does have the Highway of Tears. So, I'm just saying Pacific Northwest is best for murderers. Tip, you still there? I haven't seen her post in a little bit. I know. That's why I just called out. Okay, cool, cool. You know, just every so often, for my, my peace of mind, will you just say, like, a word? Doesn't matter which word it is, as long as it's not racist. Okay, well, I hate that you felt the need to say that. All right. No, they don't count. Proud boys don't count. That is true. So basically, Bundy grew up in a working class family, and there was no unusual interest. You know, he wasn't, as far as people know, you know, like Gain, obsessed with cannibalism and any of this stuff. Cabbage! And Cabbage! He grew up a smart child. He was smart, he was shy, he was basically a gifted kid. But it started to emerge, like, when he was in his teens, he was a peeping Tom. And this isn't a huge red flag like a lot of people, when they think red flags for serial killers, they think, you know, peeing the bed when you're too old, hurting the animals, all that stuff. Peeping Toms aren't necessarily on that list, but generally that does evolve into something more dangerous. So he moves to Washington to degree in psychology from UW and he was accepted into law school in Utah but he he never got his degree there I will do a Unabomber episode he was incredibly smart he was he dated this young woman from California who as I was talking about why my mother fit his build for serial killers was white, thin, brown hair, down to her waist, parted down the middle. We're talking about Ted Bundy now. I don't know how we got there. Well, you, do you need the wheelchair? Get her the wheelchair. What? You're right, right there, back. I'm not. Oh, yeah, you changed the subject. So 
Sorry, we're getting my sister her wheelchair. Well, technically my wheelchair, but that's just splitting hairs. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that somebody knows. That makes me happy. You know, as an epileptic, I get a little worried sometimes when I hear my friends who's also epileptic, like, I don't feel good. drop that shit on the ground. That's great. Sorry for the silence right now. We're uh, dealing with some stuff. Oh, that's right. That's right. You did start that new experimental drug. So, Ted Bundy's the one that dressed up like a clown, right? That is John Wayne Gacy, you uncultured swine. I don't know the difference. See, I'm, I'm learning, uh, just like you guys are right now, about all this murder stuff. I'm, uh, I mean, I'm kind of interested. There was a, there's a show on Netflix right now that I started watching called Night Stalker that's talking about some serial killer but that like watching shows and listening to uh Kat talk about it it's pretty much will you turn off this stuff on your headphones oh god yeah okay so first of all Ted Bundy never dressed up as a clown that was John Wayne Gacy okay watch Mine Hunter. okay and then <laughs> Mind Hunter is really good. I already watch it. Oh God! Hey, fun fact: um, our sister is also epileptic, so we got two in the house, and it's a no fun time right now. But I'm fine. He's fine. But um, Richard Ramirez is the Night Stalker, which we're watching on Netflix right now. Highly recommended. It's a super good show. It's a fascinating one. But uh. Bundy, as you would express some interest in, and he uh, actually got a letter of recommendation for how confident and smart he was uh, from a Republican governor of Washington after working on the campaign, which just goes to show how well he can trick people. Oh. I, do you want me to send you one of ours? No. Then you can have another epileptic? I don't really count, but if my blood sugar goes low enough, I will have a seizure. Ma'am, how the fuck are Xavier and I supposed to get by without you? I can send Quinn. <laughs> yes, yeah, send Quinn. I don't have the devil's baby shaking. The devil's baby? What does that even mean? Epilepsy. The devil's baby shaking. Alright, so... No one really knows when Buddy started killing. He confessed to 36 women and it started in the 70s. But nobody really knows, first of all, how many he killed. Because some people believe it's in the hundreds. Or they confirmed it was when. He confessed to 36, they only confirmed 32 for sure, and some officers and other people believe it. Don't hang that up. When I am not picking up. Oh, I am? Oh, yes, no, I, I remember, I am. I'm the first person that she can talk to about this sort of stuff. Well, I'm glad that we happened to meet uh, randomly 
on Facebook for all the epilepsy goodness. Are we getting away from the murder then? Because that was happening. We can't. I mean, I can keep talking about Bundy if you want to talk about him. Yeah, keep talking about him. I... Okay, so they think he started around 1974, but they don't have any exact dates. Um, basically, women in the Seattle area, which if you don't know it, Seattle is like the big city of Washington. It's where everybody thinks of when they think Washington. It's Seahawks, Starbucks, and all that jazz. Um, a lot of women in the Seattle area were going missing, and some of the victims sure, had been fast. seen in the company of a young, dark-haired man driving a car similar to Bundy's, but Dude, they don't have any proof. <laughs> he does mind. That's why he's at. Our, uh, our cat just jumped onto um, Arnie's lap as she was having a seizure in the wheelchair. Not like a big seizure, but like an absent seizure. So, so basically, as Shake was saying earlier, he would lure women by pretending they need help with something, pretending he to have a broken leg. Yeah. He would have a crutch. He'd have a fake a cast. cast. Yeah, no, it was a real cast. He just put it on and took it off himself whenever he wanted. I mean, it, like, it, it was a real cast, but he used it in a fake manner. Yeah. He yeah. was lying. His leg like, was not he, broken. He learned how to put it on and take it off so yep. that he could. She's fine. She's good? No, I'm talking about her. Oh, yeah, she's Artie. fine. She's fine. Ish, as fine as you can be after going through the windshield of a Chevy. Yeah. I mean, it's her too, truck zero. We got a shirt that says so. Which I'm making a new one of. Do you ever get really dizzy? Yes. Yeah. You try to move? Yes, that's why, that's why you see me sit my ass right the fuck down when I have it. Do you need me to wheel you over here? Are you sure? Because moving on your own makes it worse. Are you sure? Yeah. Generally for me, yes. Yeah, he would know. He has the shakies. I know you're non-refundable. I've tried to return you multiple times. Okay, you can hang out over there if you want. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. God, you're an asshole. I'm going to go back to murder because I don't know how to deal with this. So basically, Careful. Bundy moves He's from the Seattle the area to Utah to attend law school with that letter of recommendation. And surprise, surprise, women start going missing there as well. Kind of happens when you have a serial killer. I'm pretty, I mean, maybe hey, if they just want to be part of this podcast, too. your, your Gimpy ass has to be over here. Wait, he can move you slow. No, 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 no. It's I fine. won't move I you. Won't, I do it wrong. I won't move you. I That's did it fine. wrong over there. I just didn't know you were doing it. Okay. Okay, fine. Right. Okay. Ugh. So, women start going missing in Utah, and... The following year, Bundy got pulled over by police, and they searched his vehicle because they had reasonable, uh, reasonable suspicion, and they find what I would like to describe as a serial killer murder kit. Like, this is something that if you were a cashier and somebody brought all these items up to you, and you were checking them out, you'd be like, oh, a murder's about to happen, and... Fun story, I once had a cashier sell a machete to a dude who chopped his wife's hands off, so I know what a murder kit looks like. How do you want me to sit you? Fun story. But, basically, they found burglary tools, crowbars, face snaps, ropes, handcuffs, things that are up to no good. 
like you wouldn't have these things in your car as a regular person. The crowbar maybe, but burglary tools and a face mask, that's a little iffy. So in 1975, he's already on police's radar. He gets kidnapped for the, he gets arrested for the kidnapping of Carol Durange, who was one of the few women that actually got away from Bundy. And he got convicted and received a 1 to 15 year old jail sentence. He escaped from prison twice. Well, one In of the that times time. one of the times was not from prison but from the courthouse. Oh, I'm sorry. He escaped custody twice. Which I don't remember if the second time was actually from prison or not, because it might have also been a custodial, like, because I know one of the times, like, they, he he was preparing. He escaped from prison the second time. The first time he was preparing for his court case, um, and, like, he literally had gotten, like, buddy-buddy with a lot of, like, the courthouse workers. because he was very... He had, he was silver tongue. He had a way with words. And this is what I've said, to, and, like, to tie a completely unrelated thing in, I actually use him in an example that I use for why I personally don't like the shopping cart theory. Because Ted Bundy was known to be, in his communities, like, a helpful and kind person. He would definitely be the person to not only take his shopping cart back, but but take your shopping cart back with it. And on the moral scale of the shopping cart theory, Ted Bundy is more morally aligned than I would be on a bad pain day. I mean... And don't say that I think about it too much or that you don't mean people like me because if you didn't mean people like me, you would have said it, number one. And if I didn't think about it, I wouldn't think about it so much if it wasn't on my Facebook timeline about 45,000 times a day. That yeah, no, I, shopping cart theory. You can judge somebody based on whether or not they take their shopping cart back or not. Oh, so and I'm you a, can't I'm say also, you also can't say, well, I don't mean you, like, if you're talking to somebody physically disabled, like, in a wheelchair like this. Yeah. Because I'm not like this all the time. Sometimes I can walk without my crutch. Is yeah. it advisable to do outside of the no. house? No. But have I? Yes. Yeah. So... Except for my limp, nothing about me would tell you. Like, if it was before my accident and I was having a a bad day with my heart and I couldn't do something like that, you would not know that by looking at me. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't believe the shopping cart theory. No, I know. It's just, that's just, it was just a really random thing. It's something that I've... Yeah, it's it's a I feel it's, that. It's I've literally used it. Like I've literally said to people, why don't you like the shopping cart theory? Because according to your theory, Ted Bundy would be a morally superior person to, than me. Well, I mean, we don't know anything about the women he killed. Maybe he was doing it. I'm joking. <laughs> I know. But uh, like so- that was just random because you were talking about like he was silver tongued, right? He was. So, like, because he, he was. He, he was a very like got, kind he got and caring person. The guards person. to let him go into the library exactly. of the courthouse alone because they trusted him. Exactly. They trusted, trusted a serial, serial killer. killer. Right. And like you better believe if Ed Gain was like, "Will you let me go to this library alone?" You they would have been like, "Fuck you! No, you don't." even get you like, have a nipple belt right they think you've got a nipple belt and it's but people then have can, romanticized and honestly Bundy. that can be tied into like another bone that i have to pick where like if a conventionally attractive per- male which at the time man, he was whatever, conventionally attractive no no this is completely unrelated as well oh, okay. typically if you're like in a work setting and a conventionally attractive guy were to be hitting on a gal for example it would be considered flirting but if a ugly conventionally guy. ugly guy were to be hitting on the same person he would be reported to hr and i that's just a bone to pick that i have i don't like those double standards they don't affect me oh, yeah, in no, any fucking pretty, way pretty but they piss me real. the fuck off 
tell me you don't have pretty privilege, but don't tell me. I'm joking. It's Ooh. like how I'm just one of the guys. Anyways. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, so, she got out the Sorry. first time because the guards were like, sure, we sure, you can go into the, and he realistic. jumped out of the second floor window, window and just the literally second waltzed, time. Uh, waltzed, just waltzed off. They were like, oh no, and he was escaped for 15 hours. He, he, he robbed a, didn't he fucking hijack a woman in her vehicle in that amount of time, I believe? I believe so. Or did he break into somebody's house? Oh, sorry, it wasn't 15 hours, it was eight days. Yeah, no, I wasn't saying it was something amount of days, because I know he, like, broke into people's homes to steal yeah. their food because they and weren't make there it. or he something. Did. The second time? He carved a hole in the ceiling of his cell, dropped 30 pounds, and squirreled his ass out. Which, I'm sorry, during <coughs> cell checks, how do you not know to have a man-sized hole in the ceiling? <coughs> you said it was in the floor, didn't you? In the ceiling. I might have said floor, but it was the ceiling. <coughs> They didn't discover, this is where I got the 15, they didn't discover him missing for 15 hours. So, like, he got out. Nobody was like, where's Ted? What's Ted doing? What's Theodore up to? (laughs) Old Bundy, old pal. Where's my friend at? (laughs) Where's that really nice guy? He then went to Florida. Yep. From murdered Utah, another more, person. Murdered more people. More people. A sorority house. So, you know, yes, he was yes. just like a serial killer in Candyland there. That would have been a mass murder. Not even a spree murder. That's not a... Did, that's did, mass murder. That's mass he murder didn't... because it's a bunch of people in a single location. Mm-hmm. And so a spree murder is a bunch of people in different locations, but at the same time. He attacked four young residents, killing two of them, which I don't think you can classify as a mass murder. It's, no, it wouldn't be classified as a mass murder, but it would be, like, a mass assault, I guess, with some murders. Mass assault with with some some murder. (laughs) Some murder thrown in. Man, my Google search history is going to be working. Mass murder. Oh, I need to feed his ass. That's why he's meowing. Dumbass. By the way, it wasn't your ears that got You could me. call it a massacre, technically. You could, yes. It was a gift. It, en- yeah. Enjoy looking at this guy uh, as I go to feed my cat. Shame, I shame. feed the cat while she rambles on about Ted Bundy. Well, please don't make me right now. Okay. I but, have so, no idea what I'm saying as I'm saying it. So, like... Good. Hey, Tiff, are you still there? You should type something in the chat so I know you're here. Hi, Squish. Um, You could classify what Bundy did in the sorority house as a massacre. Yes. (laughs) Just Googling all these serial killers on my phone. I know. Lathan will be home late tonight, but he's bringing cigarettes. I want to go outside. Oh, you want to go outside? Yeah, I'm going to go outside. Okay. Is everything okay? I'm fine. You don't get to go outside. So, Excuse basically, me. the reason they got Bundy on these murders and a bunch of other murders was bite marks, because he chose yep. to bite these women. Uh-huh. Yeah, bite. So, let me, let me throw something at you that it's really random and it's a, just a question. Okay, so, you know, like, there's a lot of people who say, like, there's a difference between, like, knowing a lot about these kinds of things and, like, Mm -hmm. idolizing serial killers. I don't think I idolize them because I don't think of them. I'm, like, not, I'm not, like, Bundy. Did you see that someone got the dental impressions of Bundy tattooed on their butt? That's fucked up. Okay. That, I'm sorry, that's... That's so fucked up! That's, like, that... That, no. That is... Okay, thank you for replying, Tiff. I really appreciate that's it. That's not even idolizing. That's fetishizing. That's fetishizing. And that's, that's like That's like the girl who married Arby. Richard Ramirez Arby. Arby. after he was convicted. Like, who's Wait. like, you know what I'm going to marry? The Night Stalker. Right. Yeah, where's 
talk. Oh, you bought a bag of potatoes. I feel mocked. <laughs> so basically, Bundy turned into a celebrity because he was smart. He was good looking. He knew how to talk. I'm going to He. He was everything that people didn't think murderers were. When you think of murderers, then you would think of somebody like Ed Gein, who he's tall, he's lanky, he's weird looking, he's a recluse. He, you know, he had weird mannerisms. You don't think of Everybody's the guy with ready perfect to teeth. That, like Craig from down on the corner is a murderer, exactly. but nobody's willing to accept, accept that Lucas from next door. Is. Yeah, it's the, once again, it goes to the pretty privilege. Yep. You know, you're less and, likely to believe bad things about good-looking people than you are about people who might not be conventionally attractive. And Ted Bundy was conventionally attractive. I mean, how have we... They got Zac Efron to play him, for Christ's sake, in his documentary, and there's people fetishizing it. So, God, I mean, obviously... Obviously, he became a celebrity during his trials once they caught him again. Go ahead and just grab a chair and or whatever if you want to join up. Bundy was his own lawyer, and he like fought hard, things. but thank goodness the jury wasn't swayed, and they convicted him and sent him to death row. He tried to appeal this. He, he, he never... He did eventually tell them, you need to kill me or I'll do it again. But he fought this conviction multiple times. But because of the bite mark he left on the sorority girls from the Chi Omega murders, uh, he was, there's no way they were going to let him off. So how many times did you mention that he escaped? He tried to take, he escaped twice. He tried to take his case all the way up to the Supreme Court, but he was turned down. And he tried to offer information on some unsolved murders to avoid the electric chair. He was he was basically trying to delay his inevitable death, which happened in 1989 by electric, care, electric chair in Florida. Poor bastard walked the green mile. Oh, he deserved it. Yeah, he did. I don't advocate death penalty, but... Sometimes you just meet that special someone. <laughs> so, basically, Bundy's obsession with a specific type of woman began with Elizabeth Klopfer, who, she was skinny, she had brown hair down to her waist, parted down the middle, and he thought of her as perfect. But he didn't he started committing crimes while they were still together. So it wasn't like he lost her and then started committing crimes. So she described him as warm and loving, which is something you have to keep in mind because yet again, he had a silver tongue. He was able to trick people like this. So Elizabeth eventually went to the police with her suspicions of him because of all these prominent murders in the Seattle area, because of all these things happening, and because, oh, I don't know, he kept a meat cleaver in his desk? Hey, you know, yeah. you gotta make sure you can butcher your meat. You better believe if you start keeping a meat cleaver in a desk that I'm gonna have issues. You have a murder limit, sir. Are we just talking about how weird some criminals are? I mean, most bikers, after they were banned from using weapons, would walk around with wrenches as a means so, to repair their bikes. No, that's not what we're talking about at all. I had a meat cleaver beside my bed in Georgia. Uh, if you want to be part of this podcast, madam, you have to be over here. No. So eventually they drifted yeah. apart. Bundy moved to Olympia, which is the capital of Washington, and he and Elizabeth ended it. But he did later confess to murders over the phone, which, yeah, hey, they record that shit when you're in prison, to her in 1975. He said he couldn't resist his impulses, and he could feel a sickness building within him. Which, yeah, no, I don't, don't murder people, maybe? Go get help? Oh, and that's not even, like, the worst part. Okay, so Bundy was in jail, right? 
he gets arrested, there's a trial. In 1979, he is convicted. In 1980, somebody marries him. What? Who's out here like, I'm gonna go find me a serial killer husband? Fetishizers. That's... Jai, Mary, what happened if I'm next? They don't care. They, they're they obsessed with his uh, whole thing. Like, like there's always been a, a weird obsession between, you know, life and death. So, they, they knew each other that. from the past, so I guess you can kind of give her a pass on the fetishizing from this. They met in Olympia when he lived in Olympia, and he briefly dated her before his initial arrest. Ah. But still. No, I'm telling you, it's, 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 the, it's the flirtation between life and death. That's uh, still, the she, entirety of the he's reason convicted. she He's convicted. He did these things. She agrees to marry him in a courthouse in front of a judge, which I guess in Florida is all you need. And then you they let him have shit. conjugal visits and, like, a daughter is born in 1982 who the mother claims as Bundy's. We don't, there's no DNA testing, there's not much known about the daughter, obviously, so no one knows if she is in fact Bundy's daughter. How do you break it to a kid that her dad was very handy with You know what, there's a very interesting person that, uh, her father was a serial killer and she is one of the people that turned him in. Do you think that maybe the, obs- the modern obsession with serial killers is somehow related to the 18th so- obsession with romanticizing death? I think it is, because it's still romanticizing Cause... death, and we just want to know what makes these people tick. We live... This is comfy, I don't know. Do you want to take over that side? Yeah. I mean... Hey guys, we're being joined by my other sister, Quinn. What do you mean the kept upper calling sister? I'm the oldest. I'm the, the oldest sister. sister, Quinn. She's the so one who kept calling sisters. me potato wife. So, you know. Potato wife. Potato wife. Potato wife. So, basically, basically, Bundy is this perfect serial killer in a lot of people's minds because he was so smart. He was so good looking. He was so silver tongued. He was so eloquent. He he had a governor writing recommendation letters for him. He was widely accepted into all these hard to get into programs. He was known as helpful around the community. If you needed somebody to help you carry boxes into your apartment, you'd go to Ted. Just as long as you didn't get in his beetle. Yeah, don't get in his beetle is the main thing. Also, who looks at a guy driving a beetle with a cast and thinks, oh, he's going to murder me? If, you know, you're more, you're going to be more wary of a guy in a big truck than you are a guy driving a Volkswagen. So, fun fact, well, since my sister know. was earlier talking about Ed Gein and she mentioned Buffalo Bill, if you have seen Silence of the Lambs, the scene where Buffalo Bill is making the skin suit, that's Gein, but when he tricks the girls into the back of his van, that's, that's Bundy. Bundy. So, Buffalo Bill is based on multiple serial killers. I think most serial killers are based on multiple serial yeah, killers. Yeah, most fictional killers are based on bits and pieces. Well, I was also thinking of, or, like, how they almost, like... Or an over-fetishized version of the killer. Well, I'm also thinking of about how, like, a lot of killers themselves are almost inspired by other actors. Yeah, there, there are a lot of copycats, unfortunately. They see yeah. something and they want to reproduce it. I mean, we're, we're, I mean, we're even just talking about serial killers in the 1900s and the 2000s. I mean, you could do an entire podcast just about fucked up, murderous monarchs. I mean, I mean looting and battery. Ivan the Terrible killed his own son. So there's tons yeah, there's, of things we could talk about. There is plenty of stuff. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be running out of content anytime soon. No. No, next time I want to talk to you guys about Dennis Nilsson. Who is a famous serial killer from across the way? I believe he's in Scotland or oh. was in Scotland. Oh, he must be filled for so much, so much. He. Uh, then we have to talk about Shipman too. Mm-hmm. Doctor Death. Two hundred. We're gonna talk about Doctor Death. Two hundred and fifty victims. He's yeah. considered the we're most gonna talk about, killer. In we're gonna talk history. about Doctor Death, the Angel of Death, that 
that gentleman. And then there's another doctor death that I'd like to dive into, which was mm. a back neurosurgeon who knowingly operated on multiple people, either killing or forever paralyzing them. Yeah. Including his best friend. So if you guys have any killers that you really want us to dive into, definitely hit up Shake. Let him know. I'll do my research. I'm okay with doing some stuff on the fly. Like, I know a lot about Bundy because my mom has talked a lot about him because her father was so scared she'd go missing during this time. He wouldn't let her go anywhere Didn't alone. did she change her hair color at one point? My, my grandfather literally made her dye her hair uh, because he was scared because she fit all the stuff of all the women that were going missing. She dressed like them. She looked like them. She parted her hair like them. She had her hair like them. And so there was that. And this woman has had a brush with multiple serial killers. She lived next to the Hillside Stranglers when they were in Bellingham, Washington. Oh, yeah. You know what? We might just have her on uh, at some point in the future. That way oh, you guys yeah. can listen to her talk about her experiences and her brushes and stuff with uh, murderers and serial killers and the like. And there's also a lot of unsolved cases we can talk about. The uh, place where I work right now has an unsolved case of a woman who went missing after going on a hike with her boyfriend. Guess who didn't come home? The a, woman. Do you think that's related to that guy at your previous work that wanted to wear your skin? There's a lot of weird people in There's Washington. a lot of weird people. People that act like Alaska's got the crazy Don't come people. to Washington, no. guys. We have no. a lot of killers. Just, just avoid us. Sell the lack of coffee. Yeah. Maybe maybe skirt by us and go somewhere else. The problem is Shake's going to run out of viscera cleanup as we talk about murderers. Hmm? Are we going to talk about Bluebeard? I don't know. That's an old murder. We can talk about Bluebeard. Really old. There's actually a lot of... Um, for those of you who don't know, there's a uh, folk here. There is a folk monster in France known as Bluebeard who supposedly killed a bunch of children. He is actually yeah. based on a man who fought with Joan of Arc. And there's yeah. lots of oh, evidence Oh, yeah. We can go into fictional was, killers if you guys want. But he wasn't but fictional. Like, he was a real person. And there's actually lots of, there's lots of evidence that the church and the nobles who hated him made all this stuff up yeah so i mean basically if you guys are interested in any it doesn't have to be a serial killer it doesn't have to even be an actual murder if you're interested in any true crime stories let us know i will dig up those 911 calls i will figure it out because i can tell you for sure next time we're going to be listening to dennis nilson and we can tie him into some other stuff like he has a lot of similarities to the american killer clown john wayne gacy and his victim profiles so we can talk about that and there's there's an interesting look when you look at some serial killers and compare them to others the uglier they are the more vilified they are exactly and uh, i mean if you want to talk about a man who is not a serial killer but had tons of influence and still has influence after his death fun fact the manson family is still around yeah the manson family is still around technically charles manson is not a serial killer but he did inspire and coerce these young teens these young people to commit these crimes and while manson was not typically attractive he once again had that eloquence that Ted Bundy had. He was able to take people and start a cult and find people that were vulnerable yep. and lead them to these areas. And he was so messed up, he could have been the villain of a Japanese horror film. Yeah, it, it's there's there's a lot of interesting things to go into. But yeah. yet again, hit Shake Up, let them know. Otherwise, I'm making my own schedule and you're going to have to listen to the ones I find interesting. And some of them probably aren't. All right, so I think we're wrapping it up here since we got to talk about Ed Gain, one of the biggest inspirations for serial killers in modern day media, and Shake's going to take over now. All right, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, this is going to be happening every Monday or every other Monday, depending on, you know, work schedules. So uh, please tune in probably around the same time, 6 to 7. 
I will be playing uh, Viscera Cleanup Detail for the most part because it seems like the most uh, apt, apt uh, <laughs> game to play. And Let him know if you want him to play something jarringly different, though. He's got Katamari. He can play something dumb while we talk about serial killers. And if you guys want more than serial killers, you can always ask. We can go over villains, everything from history. There's tons of things we can go over. We can yeah. do an entire thing about... I mean, we could do Murder Mondays, True, time, true Crime Tuesdays. We could talk about how... Whiplash Wednesdays, who fucking knows? I mean, Fallout alone, there's tons of stuff we could analyze. Hey. There's there's all Damn sorts nice. of things that we can do, and you know the sky's the limit. So again, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Cabbage. And Long cabbage. live the cabbage kid. And uh, you know, stay cabbagey.